You see this pretty little cabochon. This is a lapis lazuli cabochon. Lapis lazuli is what you say if you're a fairy godmother in a Disney movie and you want to turn a horse into a, a carriage or a cat into a horse or something. You say lapis lazuli, la 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 luli, la 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 cabochon, ba da 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 da, la 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 cabochon. But normally people take a stone like this and wrap it. They'll take the wire and wrap it and hold the stone and wrap it and hold the stone and wrap it, or they'll build a tapestry like this and then they'll hold it up to the stone and make sure it fits and then build the tapestry and then wrap the tapestry around the stone and then close it off. That's two different ways. I'm going to show you a way nobody knows. And if anybody thinks that they did this way before, they stole it from me. Even if their video came out years before this, they stole it from me and then they got in their time machine and went back and made a video before this to try to pretend they made it up, but they did not. So for this one, we don't even need the stone. We're going to make a beautiful necklace that doesn't need the stone at all. But we can always put the stone back if we want, or we can just keep the necklace. Our choice. Now first we're going to make the base. You can use round wire or square wire, but either way, use 18 gauge for this, or 16, I would say, 18 or 16. So I'm going to do the 18 square wire, and I'm just going to take about a foot. It's really all you need. And I am going to use the stone to get the base just because I might want to put the stone back in, or I might not. I don't know. I'll do whatever I want. But I'm going to give myself about three inches and make my bale. I'm going to do a double loop. You can do however many you want, but that should be good. And then I'll put it up here. Let's make this straight. And let's just wrap this right around the whole base like that. Press it flat, get it tight around there, and yes, right? Get it around there, and now move to the edge of your table, and you can wrap this like a scarf. So you run out of wire, and then you can cut the sharp end. So there's a little tab sticking out halfway across the loop, and then press it, push it towards the middle of that, that little bowl made by the scarf, push it so it's hovering over, you can kind of pinch it to pinch it so it's hovering over that bowl, and then turn and pinch it down into the bowl, kind of at a diagonal, Just, poof, shove it right in, boom, it disappears. Now look at that. Now you have this nice... And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to just press on it because it makes me feel like I have power over the stone. You can't hurt me, stone. And then this cute little guy right here, we can take this one and wrap it into a swirl. Just press tight. You don't want to slip. And just roll it like that. Let's just leave that right there. Okay. Now, take 22 gauge of the same color, and this time I'm going to take about yeah a meter, about three feet, a little more than three feet, and we're going to find sort of the middle of the wire, the two ends together, pull them tight, and then you can kind of find the middle. And we're going to put the middle around this scarf right here and just wrap it once. So now we have two strands to play with. Now you can do separate things with those strands. You can bring them together. You can do whatever you want. You can thread beads through at any particular moment. Even if you decide to put the stone back, you can have little beads over top of it. It's up to you. I'm just going to do it without beads for this one, but maybe next time I will put some together. I'm going to do my strands together because if you put your strands together like this, you can do all kinds of fun stuff and no matter what you do, it looks kind of cooler because their two strands are moving in unison. So that way you can do like really boring, simple stuff and trick people into thinking that you're fascinatingly skilled. They'd be like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. And you could be like, I know, I know I'm amazing. But deep down inside, you're thinking, I'm tricking them because it's just the double strand that's amazing. I'm not really doing anything. I'm not even doing any work. But this double strand is just so pretty. If they think I'm amazing, and I'm going to let them think that. So you can separate the strand 
the two strands. You can put them together, you can play with them, you can slide a little bead over top of one of them at some point. But we're just having fun here. And I also like to alternate my loops to go around this way and then go around this way and then go around the other way. And it gives it like a pretty, pretty filigree tapestry. Now, every once in a while, I'm gonna anchor it somewhere. So I'm gonna wrap it around here, around the base to anchor it. I don't like when these strands get wrapped over each other too. They try to roll over each other. I try to keep them side by side. You can let them roll. You can keep them side by side. It doesn't change anything. It's just a look. It's just the feel, the look, the feel. So um, you can wrap them once or you can wrap them twice. Whatever you want to do, wrapping them twice kind of anchors them a little better. And then you can continue with your little tapestry. And you hear that little banging? These, these long strands are reaching out and grabbing everything. Sometimes they bang the camera. So irritating, but I, I suffer through this because you guys are so beautiful and I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I just suffer so that you can watch. And then sometimes I'm not paying the attention to the camera and I'll suffer over here and you'll be like, what is he doing? And I'll be like, oops, sorry. And then people get all angry and they're like, I couldn't see what you're doing. And I was like, that's the part where you have to use your imagination. Pretend you know what I'm doing. And so, got a little, that's a good time to anchor it again, right? Got one, two, three loops, anchor, one, two, three loops, anchor. That's, you don't have to do this pattern. You can do your own. But if you want to, you can copy it. Copy it all day. I don't care. I don't care. As long as you promise to be happy while you do it, I don't care what you copy. Just pull it back through the front. All right. And we'll do some more tapestry. And I'm pressing with my fingernails to keep these strands side by side um, and to keep them tight. And I like, after I make a loop, I like to roll it tighter and tighter until it's the level of tightness that makes me happy. There we go. So we did three, three, and three. Now we're back to the top. And whew. Yeah, you can go under there like that. You can come across here. I'm gonna anchor it again to this part just because that's what I like to do. And now, you see that? That could be a pendant by itself. I could take these guys and wrap it back over the front and do something else. Maybe put a few little beads in there and just, that would be a pretty pendant. I think I'm gonna do that in the future. But another thing is we can also put our stone back. Let's see what that does. How does that look? Hmm, interessant, as the French would say. Interessant, interessant, something like that. So do we wanna add the stone or do we want it to just be a pretty pendant like this? Let's do it both ways. Today, let's add the stone. So if we're gonna add the stone, now we gotta lock it in. It's probably not gonna pop out the front because we've got all this stuff going on, but it might. But it definitely can pop out the back. So we'll put it like, like it's going to bed in a little blanket. Make it fit nice. And now we're gonna take these guys and wrap them over the top, I mean over the back. And we will go, first we'll just go straight across, go through here, pull tight. And if you run out of wire, you can always add another wire. Or if you want, you can do this also. This part can be done with a 24 gauge or 20, a thinner gauge, because sometimes it's easier to thread with thinner gauge. I like to go through twice, because that really locks it in place. Make sure you pull tight. And so he's now he's starting to settle down. This little cabochon is starting to settle down for the night. It's not wiggling so much. He's starting to get comfy in the bed. So now what do we do? Come across. And this is the part where you can just have each of these strands come across, zigzag, do whatever they want, or you can have them work together like this and twist, twist at least twice, three times is good too. But now you'll start to make like a netting pattern. And if you're making a netting pattern that kind of pulls from different directions and that will, that will cause everything to grab the stone tighter once it's pulling all around the stone in all different directions. So that's kind of a, a very common way to do wrapping. If you're just focusing on the functionality and you don't need it to be super pretty, what you wanna do is make kind of like a um, net, a netting effect. Okay, so this one can come back around here. Now it could, it could wrap around this one if you want to or it can just come straight up. 
I'm just going to go straight up and go through here. And then as you start to wrap it tighter, it'll be harder and harder to get underneath the frame. And sometimes you got to grab your fingernail, pull it, or take the pliers and pull it to get so you can get it under. And that's fine. Just just take your time. Don't let it stress you. You you got this. I'm like rolling and pulling, rolling and pulling, trying to get that pretty tight. And get this one in here. Whew. You can also take some of these strands and loop, wrap them through these loops if you want to tighten those. It's whatever you want to do. You guys can experiment and you can be you can really have fun with this. All right. So he's pretty locked in now. He's really getting snugly for bed. Um, we just want to test see this this frame is not coming around the top there the way we want so see if we can still move it back into place oh yes we can yes we can we still have some movement going on so let's get that frame back where we wanted it there's many different ways you can do it you can press it on the table you can press it with your finger and now some of these strands moved different places make sure we get them where we want them okay and now the only weak spot right now looks like about right here, where it could sli still slip out over the top. Probably not, but just in case we have a little bit of wire left. Let's just wrap it right there. Boom, take care of that part. And come around here once, twice, and just enough so we can get that into the scarf. And that's the easiest place to hide a sharp end is get right back up to the loop. If you have a nice scarf going, which means you have a nice little bowl, you wrap it several times and then tuck a sharp end right into the bowl. And boom. Sometimes when you're all done, you can add a little drop of E6000, make sure nothing ever comes out. But that's like extra, extra. Usually you're not going to even need to do that. We'll go to this one. And you can even move. Sometimes you can build the scarf a little higher if you want to. You don't have to. It's all up to you. You have all these options. I'll tuck him in. Push him to the middle of the bowl and then push him down in. Boom. Tucked. Done. Look at this. Let's move everything where we want it. Da -da, da -da -da. And there we have our pretty little wrapped cabochon and a fun way to do it. That may be easier for some of you who might have been struggling to wrap a cabochon. Cabochon meaning a kind of a rounded stone that's flat on the bottom and it's made for setting and it usually doesn't have a hole. So we still move this frame a little bit where we want it, but we're pretty good. We're pretty much good to go. And... You can do more over the top here. You can get more wire and go, you know, wrap it more, do fun stuff. But um, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Let's, um, I don't know if we have an, oh, we do have some chain around here. Let's get some jump rings and a pretty chain. Mm -hmm.